Yeah. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuei, joined by Chara Kirk. Hi there. We're going to look at Bucket List, the Marathi movie with English subtitles. This is the official trailer starring Madhuri Dixit Neen, and it comes out May 25th, so mark your calendars. It's coming out pretty soon. <laughs> was this going to be like the Clint Eastwood movie? Or just... I gotta lower the music. <laughs> just, just to avoid issues. It's no more just a list. It's the purpose of your life. Kai karda tu me halli je pori. Ada di size bag na. Tira pori selfie abhi hoti. Ani te pan Ranbir Kapoor baro hai. Where is he? Ha. To usme kya bura hai? Hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew it! I am getting all sorts of different feelings like from this movie. This is the type of movie that I actually really enjoy watching. Very similar to 102 Not Out that we just watched. It's that kind of feel good thing where you're getting out of your comfort zone, doing something different, and then discovering yourself in the process. I'm also getting that kind of English of English vibe as well, because, you know, she is a housewife, just kind of doing her family thing, taking care of her children and her husband. Now that she has found this bucket list, and she's taken it upon herself to complete all the things on the bucket list for Sai. She's found a new purpose in life. She's learning new things and getting out there and it's just, it's really fun. I like it. It's the very first film I've seen that deals with receiving a donor and has turned into this fun, light-hearted comedy. There's two films that come to mind that I can think of. Both of them are American. I can't think of any that are Indian that I've that I've seen. I can't recall any off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. But the first one is Blood Work, Clint Eastwood movie from many years ago. Oh, also 21 Grams. That's three of them. All three of them are serious movies. Okay. So Blood Work is where Clint Eastwood has re receives a heart and, and then he has to like investigate how the person who gave him his heart died. And in 21 Grams, it's a similar situation where Sean Penn and uh, whoever played King Kong's love interest in the Peter Jackson Naomi King Kong. Watts. Naomi Watts falls in love with with Sean Penn mm -hmm. and he received like some kind of thing that kept him alive a little bit longer. And so she enlists him to find the dude and kill the dude that basically gave him the parts that are keeping him alive. And then Seven Pounds is the thing that's closest to this where he, he gave away, you know, himself for these seven people. To, to live on. This is almost like a sequel to Seven Pounds. It's like, now what happened afterwards? <laughs> you know? <laughs> this lady's father gets to live on and, and so she feels so grateful to this this young woman that she wants to help fulfill what her bucket list was, like where she's kind of like taking on the burden of that woman's soul and yeah. helping her find a, what do you call it when the crossover, like in- Yeah, um, find peace what, to, to cross over. What's it called? What's that Mexican movie? The Pixar Mexican oh, movie? Oh, Coco. Coco, yeah, to help them cross over to the other side so they can- 
become a saint or whatever it is. I forget. Yeah, just have fun. I think it's a really great idea. I think it's such a, a lovely celebration of life. I think that this could be a really fun film. It looks delightful. It looks very family friendly. It's colorful. It makes you appreciative of donors. Like, there's not that many movies that deal with that subject matter. And like I said, this is the first film I've seen that deals with that subject matter in a lighthearted, fun way. It's an interesting topic because not enough people donate. And hopefully we yeah. reach a point in uh, our generation, in our lifetime, you know, you can just 3D print things and this doesn't have to be a problem anymore and it's just, you know, it's a thing from yester. But uh, for now, it is a, a very real issue. That people need donors. And you ticked yes. You ticked yes? Oh, well, good luck. Doctors aren't gonna resuscitate you. <laughs> so that's the that's the fear, is like the doctor won't that's like- That's awful! Yeah, I know. Why you... would a doctor not resuscitate someone if they said that they were willing to be a donor? You know, I thought long and hard about that. The reason why is because harvesting your parts is a very time sensitive manner. It's a time sensitive thing. And if they don't do it very, very, very quickly within minutes of your death or, you know, within hours of your death, the, the parts go bad. But doesn't that violate the Hippocratic Oath of doing no harm and helping people? But you were dead. It doesn't matter. We don't have to, this is a rabbit oh hole of a discussion. That's why a lot of people are afraid to become donors. I haven't actually seen Majuri Dixit. However, I know that she is a very, very famous actress. Yes. Like, legendarily famous. A lot of you guys have been requesting us to react to her music videos. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to doing that. I really want to see more of her. I think she has a really great screen presence. She's stunning as well. She's a mom who's a little bit out of touch. She's like, where, where do you go when you go viral? Where, where's that place? That sounds like fun. I want to go viral. <laughs> you don't go viral, you become viral. Oh, that's cute. I can totally see my mom, you know, being that sort of mom. My mom was always wanting to know what the kids did and like what's cool and she'd try and use the lingo and stuff and I'm like, please mom, stop, cringy. You know what's great about this is there's an extra layer here that reminds me of Stradevi's film that we watched. English for English, that's it, what I said. When did you say that? In the very beginning. Oh. <laughs> so Jabby listens very intently to everything Achara says. The reason it reminds me of that is because in English of English, Sri Devi becomes more worldly. Yeah. She, she understands things more and this adventure, her, her inheriting this bucket list makes her more worldly. Did you say these exact words? Is that why you're <laughs> nodding like that? I mean, I didn't say the exact words, but I expressed a similar feeling, yes. Well, at least we're in alignment, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, Look, I'm just processing things a little bit slower. Gosh, forgive me. No, because I said that through doing this bucket list, she's learning more about herself. She's discovering who she is. Look, I need a really big disclaimer right now, okay? Because there's a number of people who are like, Achara is so brilliant and Jabby is stupid. First and foremost, this is a foreign language film for us, right? Secondly, it is known that women are better at reading body language than men in general. Doesn't mean they're smarter, they're just better at reading body language. There's there's polls that have been taken where people watch silent films and they found that 80% of women got it on point, like to a T, better than men did. So, there. I'm like crying. <laughs> but, I nearly did cry actually when I, I was watching this trailer. I eventually got it. Yeah, you did. The handcuffs part is the thing that got me most excited. Not something Jabby has done or has any experience with, but hopefully someday when I'm a grown up, I can do that too. Like doggy style. What? Actually, no, I take that back. My favorite part is the is the motorcycle bit. She has a, almost like a Salman Khan coolness about her. <laughs> she's like got the thing going and she's about yeah. to ride off. That's what black leather does to you. It makes you look cool. It says girls are crazy these days. When was there ever an era when girls were not crazy? Didn't you guys see Troy? I'm glad Rambir Kapoor made an appearance here. That was really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. I would love to imagine that's how Rambir Kapoor hangs out in real life, just with a hood over his head at random bars, just chilling out in a kind of creepy fashion until he reveals himself and I'm a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with that. I'm Rambir Kapoor. I play Sanju in an upcoming film. You know? That's, he, 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 he sings it in a very yeah. 1930s black and white musical manner. And that's exactly what Jabby does on a Friday night. He's got his cane in hand going, I'm Ranbir Kapoor! <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. You're awesome for listening to my rambles and Achara's brilliance, which completely crushes Jabby's stupidity. Thanks so much, you know, for being positive and sticking by me all these years. <laughs> Please make sure to follow Achara Kirk and tell her how brilliant she is on the social media because people don't praise her enough. She gets nothing 
but uh, insults thrown at her about how dumb she is compared to Jabby. Mm. Not, not true at all, but uh, I thought that'd be funny to say. I'm Jabby Koei, this is a Char Kirk. I'm Jabby Koei. Oh. Peace out.